Warpath. I want to blast a path through to Cosmos. The only thing you have to worry about is that! How big a path you want! Bam! <laughs> Welcome back to the Tide Room Hanger. This is Mike. Today I want to talk to you about this new Warpath from a combination of MPA Studios, Galaxy Toys, and it is their Mini O2 Armored Wizard, their take on a Legends, slightly below Legends scale Warpath. But I think it would work for a Legends scale Warpath, depending on your collection, what you got going on there. But I did get this from Shozy, and thanks to support from viewers, like you that put th in the reviewer code to help me to get this item as a sample to review today and i'm very excited for it because it's the first legend scale warpath that i've gotten my hands on and we're going to take a look at this i'm going to have a link down below where you can get yours too but let's take a look at this new legend scale warpath do some comparisons to the vintage and more coming up All right, here we go, the box. The box looks pretty good. It's uh, shiny. It's shiny. It. I, I mean, obviously it's just a cheap box, but it's not as cheap as some of these other ones. I mean, it feels a little bit more premium. Some of the other boxes we've been getting, even from Magic Square, gotta point that out. All right, so here he is right out of the package. He is kind of a tiny little fellow, and I, I think he looks pretty good. Actually, he looks really good. We're gonna get into some comparisons of him pretty soon here, but turning them all around, flipping them around, He's pretty clean. He does have the same issue we have pretty much with all the Warpaths, Paths, which is pretty large feet. But I've seen worse. I've actually seen much bigger feet. And maybe even because of the fact that it's such a small figure, the big feet on him don't really stand out so much. But it's uh, it's a good looking figure overall. And you know, the character is even kind of wonky and goofy. But I mean, I like a lot of things. So one of the things I want to point out, I like how the back is clean and rounded it just feels like a good solid back and there's not a bunch of kibble on there and this front piece looks pretty good let's see does this extend like that yeah pretty good one thing i'm gonna notice that this is so tiny i noticed that you know you skip your mana petty one weekend just kidding but once i get through transformer videos and i'm starting to do some of the action figure ones we're doing the nail trimmings but i like to not use as many spudgers anyway especially with this little guy he's so little and tiny but uh, there is some paint on him right down here on his, but it's not as shiny as I thought it would be. Like in the pictures, they made it look like it was going to be metallic. It's not shiny metallic. It's It's got some gleam to it, but yeah, it's a pretty cool looking figure overall. Uh, let's get into articulation and then there's no accessories. So we'll get straight into comparisons. All right. So his head, the usual ball, ball joint. Nope. No ball joint. Just up and down. I'm not getting any ball joint movement out of it. Unless I'm doing something wrong. It looks like it's got... It should move, but it's not moving. Okay. Shoulder goes out to there. You can do a 360. And then let's see where the bicep swivel in is right here. And then you've got double jointed on the elbow, which is part of the transformation anyway. And the hand goes in and out, but don't push them in unless you want to work on trying to get them out. Ab crunch... Uh, not really getting an ab crunch out of it. Does have the swivel, but yeah, I'm not getting an ab crunch out of it. That kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, no ab crunch. He does have a, a uniflap for the hip flap. Goes out this far up there. It's all on, obviously, it's all on friction. There's no ratchets in this. Some kind of universal thigh. Hip swivel. Just a 90 degree at the knee. And the little up and down. Not really much side movement on the foot there. So that's kind of all you're getting out of the articulation with this guy. And, of course, after the articulation, I'm going to clean him up. I, he feels pretty tight now, but I, I already noticed a few things feeling a little bit looser as I mess with him. Kind of with everything with the friction base. The more you mess with it, the looser it's going to get. But not really bad articulation, considering how tiny this guy is. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Warpath. Uh, this is the G1 versus, well, MPH. We're going to go with this one being the MPH or the Galaxy Toys. One of the things I've noticed about Legends figures, especially the ones that are for like Minibots and some of these other ones out here, is that the Legends versions are as big, if not a little bit bigger, than the Vintage. 
and the G1, and so this is a G1 Warpath kind of towers over this guy. Now this thing's not really going for full legends, sub legends, but uh, so I would have liked him just a little bit bigger just to be as tall as him. So that's, that's in my opinion where he falls, just slightly small for the legends. And again, they're not going for legends, but it will sort of work. Well, I said sort of, now hold on, you're going to go, well, no, that's not going to work at all now that you see it like that. But I do want to point out a few things, like this is... There's a few figures, got on, this is New Age. And so, yeah, Warpath should be taller than some of these. So that's, that is kind of an issue. But again, it's not Legends, but I'm just giving you an idea how big it is. And it will, it'll find a home on my Legends shelf though. See, that's the thing, it's gonna be on my Legends shelf. But yeah, it's, uh, it's there, it's two and a half inch, something like that. All right, now for some transformation on this guy. Let's do a couple of things. <clears throat> when you move his head around just a little bit, you can get this piece here out, which it's going to be hard to see. My hands are going to be in the way on everything on this. Flip the head around all the way and get it in there. Get in there. I don't care what you smell. I'm not sure why it's not wanting to go in there. Fold, fold. I guess you got to fold the head all the way back. Push the head all the way back to fold it in there. And then that goes up. These arms are clipped in, the shoulders. So you need to unclip the shoulders. And it's just a ball joint pops out. I mean, it's just, it happens. But this is pretty a pretty tight connection point. And then slide these up. And so that's a good thing that it's a tight connection point. And at this point we can reconnect this so we can stay on target with what we're doing here. And then we're gonna fold this up for now, get it out of the way. Fold in the hands inside here, which I think this automatically, I this hand over here automatically kind of folds up. Just the way it works. Now this is going to untab and fold forward and we're going to, I guess we need to put the hip flap up and then this is all gonna fold forward here. Now we need to do the legs, which is kind of cool how they do it. You open it up like this and then you fold it, fold this folding joint up here and then that forms the front. And it is a, just a ball joint. It's not a big deal. There we go. So as you can see, this is kind of how it's going in this direction, like so. Now we do all that again on the other side, open this up, fold this up and forward like so. And then this is going to come together in the front frontal region and as you can see we're pretty much to this point then we gotta we gotta do something with these arms in the back here all right just to make it a little easier this is small and fiddly you're gonna make the arm look like this well in reverse on the other side so I just kind of did this first one to get an idea and it's gonna tuck in right here and then we're gonna do that on the other side too so basically we're gonna rotate on this joint right here all the way around Gonna rotate all the way around until we can get it into this position tiny 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 and it's like if you put a little bit of force to tab it together it, it was a bit of a challenge so i think i might be over folding it too much but all right so this popped off right here at this joint i just popped it right back on and every, just like ball pegs and stuff kind of well this isn't a ball peg though it's just like a a pin it's not even a pin it's just tabbed in anyway got that back in there and then so what you're looking for is flip it flop it around you've got this silver paint is going to be on the inside there's a tab right here and this is your makeup that you want for it to look like when you're going into this mode and uh, just be careful with those pins. It's just everything's so small and tiny that it's really hard. It's even hard to capture it on screen. But uh, And getting all this stuff tabbed in, I'm probably going to 
off camera retab everything and make sure everything's 100% tabbed in because uh, this is a tough one to do on camera I'm not gonna lie but uh, it's almost there pretty close make sure you extend this and tighten up the head make that flatter tighten it up a little bit more and we'll take a look at it all right here it is in its alt mode and it looks pretty good it's a nice looking tank uh, one of the things I gotta say is that well, it's not over-engineered. It is, it's a decent amount of engineering so that you can get a good looking tank out of it. It's just transforming something this small. It's a lot of engineering for the size. And it's, we're, we're, we're not talking legends, it's sub-legends, but uh, it does look good. I mean, it, you've got the turret that can rotate. It goes up and down, sort of. This whole thing can go up and down. And, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, they've done a good job with it. It looks good, but, uh, transforming it with such super tiny little tabs and, uh, ball joints and stuff that pop out was just not the funnest experience in the world, but it's not really not that hard. Looks clean. Looks good. I like the silver on the treads there. That looks nice. Uh, I'm feeling die cast in this. It's got die cast in it. Uh, which I think we kind of already were, it was alluded that they were going to use die cast in it. And so of course with die cast comes paint. And yeah, it looks looks good. It's in a, let's see what it, it compares to scale wise to some other Legends vehicles. Here is how he scales with a bunch of other stuff. Uh, what we got here? Magic Square, Magic Square, New Age, New Age, Magic Square, New Age. Yeah, he's a little small, a little short for a stormtrooper, but still cool looking figure. Next to the G1, the G1 comparison, and it is really small next to the G1. Like, it, when you have the modern engineering and you, like, build up, build up the feet or build down the feet, there's a lot of the things that happen with mass shifting in the modern engineering. That thing is small compared to the G1, so. Much smaller, I believe, it feels smaller than the bot mode, but because that's everyone's perception, however you want to perceive it, but... There it is compared to the G1. Does the rub still work? Does the rub still... Are, is he an Autobot or a Decepticon? Is he an Autobot? Is he a good guy? I, at this point, I don't even know. He is a good guy. Awesome. All right, so what do I think about this guy? I think he's a pretty good little figure for being a sub-Legend scale figure that could sort of fit in your Legend scale. And engineering is... Uh, it's not bad. It's not a poorly engineered figure. It's kind of what you'd expect to get for this size, this scale. This price point of 20 bucks, but anyway, I'm going to have him on my Legend sale. It's going to be my Warpath until New Age comes out. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm going to have a link down below where you can get yours at Shozy Store. Remember, TH Reviewer Code. Like and subscribe, and tight here, I'm hanging out. Transform!